All right, you guys, happy Tuesday. So this is what we got going on today. We have a total body workout for you. We have five blocks of work. Each block has two exercises. We're gonna rotate through three times each, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Go ahead, you guys, start with your warm up. I'm gonna show you the first couple moves. We do have a bit of cardio in here today. First thing, you're gonna do switch feet, but you're gonna jack arms. We're already gonna mess with your head a little bit this morning. Second exercise, we're gonna do a rotating lunge with an under leg pass. So you're gonna grab one weight. You want a wider stance here. You're gonna rotate that lunge to the right. You're gonna pass that weight under your leg. You're gonna come back up to standing rotate it the other way, pass it under your leg. Go ahead and give me some leg sweeps next. Next exercise, we're gonna do four high knees, one, two, three, four, then you're gonna do fast feet to the front of your space, four high knees again, then fast feet to the back of your space. Then we're gonna grab our weight. You're gonna have narrow stance. You're gonna do a deadlift into a squat. So you're gonna deadlift, bring it up to standing, squeeze those glutes, rotate your weights to the side, go down into that squat. So it looks like this. Deadlift, rotate, squat. Go ahead and give me that lunge with a twist. Next exercise, we're gonna head down to the floor. You're gonna go into that perfect plank. You're gonna do a shoulder tap, shoulder tap, hip tap. So it's always opposite hand to opposite extremity, hip tap. Then you're gonna come up and you're gonna bring that knee to your hand, knee tap, knee tap. So it's shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Then we're gonna flip it over. You're gonna hold one weight. You're going into that glute bridge. You're gonna hold it up at the top the whole time. You're gonna do a one arm chest fly. So, and then you're gonna pass it at the top. So be really careful. Do that chest fly using that core to keep your body straight. Pass it to your other hand, chest fly the other way. Remember, you don't wanna lock out your arms here. You wanna soft bend in that elbow. And we're gonna bring it back up to the top. Go ahead and give me some butt kickers. Um, let me mute you, Robert. Okay. Next exercise, we're gonna do skater hops. These are a little bit slower because I want you to do that long hop and touch the floor, leaving that back foot up off the floor. So hop, touch that floor. Hop, touch that floor. Then we're gonna do Grab your weight again, alternating squat row. You're gonna hold that weight in front of you with both hands to start. You're gonna squat down. When you come up, you're bringing one arm up into that row, elbow goes straight back. You're gonna go back to that squat starting position, passing that weight to your other hand, and then bring it up the other way. All right, and then give me some shoulder rolls with that heel raise. Next exercise. Now we're gonna use both of our weights. You're gonna do a rotating clean to press. So you're gonna be in that narrow stance. You're gonna start down. With a clean, you need to power through those legs. You gotta power through those feet. You're gonna use that momentum in your feet. So you wanna come up on your toes. And when you do that clean, you're rotating. So slow motion, you're bringing it up your body and at the top, you're rotating those weights in. When you come up to standing, you're gonna do a press and it's a reverse press. So you're working those biceps and shoulders. So again, quickly, it looks like this. You're gonna clean it up. When you come to the top, you rotate them and then you press. All right. And then our last exercise, we're doing overhead punch jacks. So you're gonna do a regular jack feet here and your arms are punching over the top of your head. All right, you guys got it? Ready to roll? All right, let me get my timer started. We are going in eight seconds. We're starting with those switch feet, jack arms. Get ready. Two, one, here we go. 
<laughs> so jack arms. I'm going to make you guys think two things here and switch feet. Yeah, you guys got it. Good. Our body's still warming up here, so it doesn't have to be fast, but I do want big arms. Good, you guys. Keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest, grab your weight. We're going into that rotating lunge. So you want a wider stance here. Have that weight in your left hand. We're gonna turn to the right, let's go. Turn to the right into that lunge. Pass your weight under your leg. Bring it back to standing. Go the other way. On that lunge, I want your back knee close to the ground. You've got to keep that chest up. And in order to get that pass under your leg, you've got to get into that deep lunge. Because I don't want to see this. No, we're keeping our chest up and reaching under our leg. Good. Once you have it down, you can pick up that pace a little bit. Three more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Going back into that switch feet jack. Wait, what happened? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Go ahead, do that switch. We like totally worked through our rest and everything on that one. <laughs> I'm already giving you guys a little break right off the get-go. All right, 10 seconds. And three, two, one, rest. Sorry about that, guys. I'll keep a better eye on that timer. All right, right back in it. Into that lunge, rotating, pass under the leg. Let's go. Nice job. Keep that core locked on tight. I want to see that perfect lunge. 90-90. You have eight seconds left. And three, two, one. Drop that weight. We've got each exercise one more time. I want you to move in your space. We are going in two, one, here we go. Now you got it down. So I want you to pick up that pace, get that heart rate up a little bit. All right, more than halfway. Do a little cardio burst. Five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay, grab your weight. One more lo rotating lunge. Get ready, three, two, one, here we go. Now, if you plan on sticking with me for a while with these Zooms, you're probably gonna wanna invest in a heavier weight. I know a lot of you have small dumbbells. You're probably gonna wanna get maybe an eight or a 10 set. That way you're still challenging yourself, even though you're not going into the gym. A band is always a good option too. All right, and rest, you guys. All right, we're on our second block. We're doing four high knees, fast feet to the front of your space, four high knees, fast feet to the back. Let's go, you guys. 
One, two, three, four. Back feet to the front. One, two, three, four. Back feet to the back. Use that space that you have, whatever you have available. Really get those knees up there. Almost done. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, grab both of those weights. We're going into that deadlift with the squat. Here we go, you guys. Deadlift, bring it together, squat. So your feet are almost together here. Rotate those weights out, go down into that narrow squat. So our heart rate is up here, but we slow down a little bit with our weights. But the nice thing about adding that cardio in between is we're burning more calories while we're using these weights. All right, take that rest. Going back to those high knees. Ready, set, here we go. Get those knees up. Back feet to the front. Back feet to the back. Wanna get those knees up to hip level. We need 15 more seconds of this one. Five to go. Two, one, and rest. Right, grab those weights. Two, one, here we go. Deadlift, flat back here, squeeze those glutes at the top and go into that squat. Every time you come to the top, you want to squeeze those glutes. You also want to reset that upper body. And then you come up, open up that chest, put those shoulders back into that squat. Good. Five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. All right, we got one more of each. Moving along. It's your last set here with these high knees, so make it your best one. Here we go. Get those knees up. Back feet to the front. Back feet to the back. Come on, move those feet. Halfway. Come on, we're almost there. Five more seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, one more deadlift. Get ready, deep breath. Let's work. Deadlift. Slow it down here, squat, deadlift. Now I know your body just got out of being in motion very fast. So you wanna do these fast, but you don't. I want you to slow these weight exercises down. You want to get deep into those muscles. Use that resistance. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're heading down to the floor. We're going into that plank, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. All right, high plank here. 
Let's go, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. Then bring that knee up to your hand. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Now I want you to resist the urge to rock your body. You wanna try and keep that core as tight as possible. Keeping your booty in that neutral position. Don't let it go up in the air. All right, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, flip it over, grab one weight. Go into that glute bridge. That's your home base. Bring that weight up. Now, we're working. You're doing that chest fly, bringing that right arm out. Slow it down, okay? You're gonna pass it at the top carefully. Make sure you have a firm grip on that weight before you go into that next chest fly. You're really working your core right here to stabilize your body with this one-sided weight. Lots to think about. So squeeze those glutes. If your hips lower, get them right back up there to the top. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, set that weight down, flip it back over. We're going back into that plank. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Get up there, let's go. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Whatever pace you choose here, stick with it the whole 40 seconds. Every time you set that arm down, that hand to the floor, you wanna make sure it's directly below those shoulders. You want a nice straight line. Good, almost there. Stick with me. Hold that core tight. Do not rock that body. You're almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, flip it back over. Get up into that high glute bridge. Squeeze those glutes. Weight up at the top and let's work. You want a soft elbow here, a slight bend in that elbow. Don't lock it out. Bringing that fly all the way to where it almost touches the ground, but doesn't. And then bring it right back to the top. Again, take this slower, especially the past. I do not want to wait landing in somebody's face. 10 more seconds. You got this. Three, two, one. Set that way down. One more set of each. Going back into that plank. All right, get up there and let's work. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Challenge yourself to keep that body it's still, it's possible, no rocking. Core is tight. Yeah, if you guys are strong, you can do this stuff. You just gotta tell yourself you can do it. Gotta have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Come on, almost there. Five to go. Three, two, one. Nice job. Flip it over. Get those hips up. Arms at the ready. Two, one. Here we go. Open that chest. Pass. Got to keep that core tight to keep that body stabilized. So you're not moving, you're not rocking that body when you open up that chest. Halfway there. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds. You guys are doing great. Use that chest. Last three, two, one, finish it. Bring it up to the top. We are in our fourth block. We're going into those skater hops. You're gonna to touch the floor. Let's work. 
touch that floor every time you hop. That's going to make you have to bend that leg and do a one-legged squat. But we're adding that jump in for that little cardio. And you have to keep that core tight to keep your body stable to help with your balance. Good, lots of muscles working right here. And three, two, one, rest. One weight. We're doing that alternating squat row. So you're gonna squat, row at standing. Here we go, squat. When you come up, you're gonna row that arm. Pass it, row that other arm. Bringing that elbow straight back. When you come up to standing, with me in a side view, you still have that hinge in your hip so that you've got a place for your elbow to go. Straight back towards the ceiling. Good, stick with it. Five more seconds. Two, one, done. Set that weight down. Gator hop. Round two. Ready? Let's go. Pop it out, touch that floor. You gotta get low so you can tap it. Good, and I want you to bend that supporting leg in order to tap that hand. Don't have a straight leg and bend your top body. I want you to bend that leg to get low to the ground. Three, two, one, rest. Grab your weight. Back into that row. Two hands and squat, row. Squeeze back when you bring that elbow up. Hold it for a second. Feel that squeeze back there. You wanna exhale on that row. Excellent. Good, 10 more seconds. Stick with me. And three, two, one, rest. Set that weight down. One more set of each. Nice deep breath and let's work. Use that space. Let's see nice big hop laterally. Use those legs. Now, if balance is an issue, you can drop that back toe when you go down. Then you're going to end up almost into a curtsy squat. But I really want you to try and keep that toe up off the ground. It's forcing you to use those muscles too. One, rest. Nice job. Grab that weight. One more time. Big deep breath. And let's work. Squat, row. Good, you guys. Yes, that arm is close to your body. Elbow goes straight back. Halfway there. Come on, 10 more seconds. Work those muscles. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, you guys. All right, we're in our last block. You're gonna grab both weights. We're doing that rotating clean and press. You're gonna start at the bottom. Narrow stance, let's go. 
Start at the bottom, bring it up. You're gonna rotate those arms up and press. Yes, so bring it back down. When you come up, rotate those weights, then rotate them back down. There you go. When you do that press, you wanna keep your weights in this position. You will not be able to extend all the way because you're using those biceps. Two, one, and rest. Good, that one was a little bit tricky, but you guys got it. We're going into that overhead punch jack. So you're gonna have jack feet and you're gonna punch those arms up. Let's work you guys. Good. You can add some speed to this if you're ready. Punch with purpose, punch that ceiling. Use those arms. Good, halfway there. Good, you guys, you're doing great. Ten more seconds. Come on, keep it up. And three, two, one, rest. Grab those weights. Get ready, two, one, start at the bottom, clean it up, rotate, press, bring it back down. I want you to bend those knees when you catch that weight at your shoulders. Absorb that weight. Bring it back down and up. And keep those legs bent when you do that press over your head. Yeah, you guys got it, good. You have five more seconds. Finish it wherever you're at. Take it all the way to that press and rest. Drop that weight. Back into those punch jacks. Home stretch of this workout, you guys. Come on, let's go. Punch it out here. Good, now come on, pick up that pace a little bit. It's your last little bit of cardio for today's workout. Get that heart rate up there. Burn those calories. Great way to start your morning. Come on, you got five more seconds. And three, two, one, rest. One more set of each one, you guys. Grab those weights. Perfection. Now's the time. Let's go, start from the bottom. Clean it up, rotate them in and press. Bring it right back down. When you bring that clean up, you want to come up to your toes to really get them up there. Nice. Come on, final 10 seconds. Finish it strong. Three, two, one. Set those weights down. You guys, we made it to our last set. Woo, last set, best set. Your best punch jack right here. Two, one, let's go. Punch it out. There is no burnout. So whatever energy you have left, give it to me right here. Good, you guys, great energy. On, keep it going. 15 more seconds. Come on, Robert. You got this. Stay strong. Final five. Three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. Give yourself a hand. Go ahead, take a couple laps in your space. Put those hands up over your head, touch your breath. 
Meet me back here in the middle. I want a big deep breath in. And out. All right, I want you to walk it down to the floor like an inchworm, okay? So hinge at that hip, walk it down to about downward dog position. Now, bring that booty up, slide that head through your arms so you're in that downward dog position. I want you to pedal those heels. So put your left heel down, then switch it to your right. Take this at your pace here. Give me a couple more on each side. Good, drop those knees. You're gonna bring your right knee through and I want you to lift that left arm up. Give me a great stretch right here. You're gonna lean forward, get into those hip flexors. Good, now I want you to cross that arm over your knee. You're gonna take that right arm and reach towards the back and lift it up so it's by that corner. Feel that opening in your chest. It's a great stretch right here. Good, release that. You're gonna slide your hips back into that hamstring stretch. I want your right toe pointed towards the ceiling, digging that heel into the ground. You can move your chest towards that leg. Good, come back up. We're gonna switch sides, bring that left knee up. That right arm brings up towards the ceiling. Stretching forward with those hip flexors. Good, now cross that arm over. Bring your left arm back and up. You wanna twist into it, feel that opening in your chest. Good, release. And slide those hips back for that hamstring stretch. Toe goes towards the ceiling, hinge forward. Awesome. All right, now bring that leg back. We're gonna step our feet together and roll up nice and slow. And we are done, you guys. Good work today. Clap it in, get, get our hands in and do our family on three. Let me see it. One, two, three, family. Now hold tight, you guys. Let me get our sweaty selfie. So you guys get credit for today's workout. All right, smile. Robert, come on, man. Where are you? There you are. Okay, here we go. Awesome, you guys. Good work today. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.